Welcome to Study Brief, a recurring podcast featuring discussions of sports, music, TV, movies, and more. Today, we are happy to have Tommy Cresta and Sean Molusky here to talk about the 94th Academy Awards. Enjoy the show! Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Study Break. I am your host, Tommy Cresta. Alongside me is a very special guest, Sean Molusky. Sean, how are you doing? I'm doing great today, Tom. Thank you. So we are here to talk about the Oscars and go through a couple of the big categories and the big winners. Ready to get started? Absolutely. Let's get into it. So starting off, we're going to go with Best Actress in a Leading Role, which Jessica Chastain took home. And I was very happy with her taking it home for Eyes of Tammy Faye. I totally agree. I've been a huge Jessica Chastain fan for a while. She won the SAG Award, and I definitely think she was overdue, especially as a three-time nominee. So she, she definitely deserved this win. Yeah, no, and of course, my personal opinion was Christian Stewart. That's who I wanted to win. Mm-hmm. But after watching the eyes of Tammy Faye, I was okay with her winning. Absolutely. And I thought the makeup was incredible. Her transformation was perfect. Oh, it was spectacular, yeah. Yeah, like all in all, I thought she did an amazing job. Yeah, I totally agree. I don't think there was a better choice other than uh, Jessica Chastain. So no real complaints there, at least on my part. You know, did you have like your own personal who you want to win or was Jessica Chastain your choice? Jessica Chastain was definitely my choice. Like I said, I'm a big fan. Ever since she was in Molly's Game, I saw that. I still love that movie. And I've I've been keeping up with her ever since. And I definitely think she got her well-deserved award. The only issue I had with this category was actually, I wasn't a huge fan of Nicole Kidman getting the nomination when I thought Zegler from West Side Story really deserved it. Okay, yeah. But all in all, I was happy with Jessica Chastain. Like you were saying with the three nominations, she really did deserve this Oscar. Absolutely. I totally agree. But then moving on to a category I did not agree with, and this was actor in a leading role. And yeah, so this guy, Will Smith, won. I don't know if you guys, anyone knows who that is right now. Small time guy from Philly. Rumor has it. Yeah, I heard he might have slapped someone or something, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So Will Smith took home the leading actor, Oscar, for his performance in King Richard. And he was incredible. Don't get me wrong. I really loved him. But Andrew Garfield learned how to sing, dance, and play the piano and didn't win. It just seems like a lot more. But Absolutely. He was more well-rounded, I guess. He, He did a lot more to prepare for his role. He took it very seriously. But to be fair, Will Smith really gave that performance where I believed he was a father. I believe, like... He was one of those rough fathers that can kind of put their kids through the ringer, but you can tell he still loves them and just genuinely wants the best for them. He put that on the screen almost perfectly. You know, because he did make you forget he is Will Smith. Oh, absolutely. And being that big of an actor, that's one of the hardest things to do in Hollywood. Like, it's kind of hard with Leo because you know him for so many roles. They're like, oh, it's Leo. But they're the kind of actors that can make you forget who they are and that they're playing Richard Williams instead of it's just oh it's Will Smith playing this guy in a movie yeah especially Richard Williams who's obviously such a big factor and two of the greatest competitors of all time and that this is their story and he was he was able to do it justice and able to work and able to put on screen what we expected to see what Richard was like in real life yeah and I thought everyone that got nominated really did deserve the nomination like I thought Denzel Washington was incredible in Tragedy and Macbeth. Not my favorite type of movie, especially with the old English, but the production design, cinematography, everything was great. But no, I really believe it came down to Will Smith and Andrew Garfield, in my opinion. Absolutely. And I can see that why Will Smith won, because he did give an incredible performance. But I still would have wanted Andrew Garfield, because he's my Spider-Man, and he played one of my favorite directors and writers of all time, Jonathan Larson. Yeah. See, Tick, Tick, Boom was a great movie. I'm personally not big into musicals. Yeah, His performance was great, but my opinion about musicals definitely helped me lean towards Will Smith and King Richard. And if Andrew Garfield won, I would obviously be still be extremely happy. But at the same time, I'm very content, very happy, and glad to see Will Smith got his Oscar and well, finally got an Oscar after all he's done. Yeah, and I'm not even going to talk about any of the controversy surrounding that at this moment. I think there's more important things to talk about with this amazing Academy Awards, because in my opinion, it was one of the best ones in the last couple of years. Absolutely. There's a lot more going on under the surface we need to talk about. Everyone knows what's going on with that whole controversy. Um, Everyone's keeping up to it pretty much by the minute, so it's not something we need to cover too much. Yeah, so moving on from that, I think we should talk about the best picture, because that's the main award of the whole night. Absolutely. What was the best movie of the year? And the movie I wanted to win won, which was Coda. But I got it wrong on my Oscar ballot because I was like, there's no way Coda's going to win. I picked Power of the Dog. I also picked Power of the Dog. Which I did not want to win because just not my favorite type of movie. But 
I was so excited for Coda. That was one of the most heartfelt movies I've ever watched. Like, Absolutely. You, it was heartbreaking. You, you could tell the emotions that the characters were feeling on screen every second you saw them. You knew what they were going through. And even with the characters being deaf and the actors being deaf, it didn't subtract from that at all. In fact, it probably made it better. Yeah, no, and Troy Kotzer, playing the father in Coda, he actually took home Best Actor in a Supporting Role. And I picked him, and I was so excited to see him go up there. And his speech was great. Oh, absolutely. And he's a really funny guy. He was on Kelly and Ryan this morning, and he was just, I was laughing out loud to watching him. He's such an incredible actor, and I was just super excited to watch him. And I was happy. I had no, like, oh, this movie should have won Best Picture. Like, Coda was what I wanted to win. Yeah, there weren't too many, like, real controversies or anything like that. I definitely, personally, I picked Belfast to win. But I, movie. Because I, I, I really did love that movie. But on, on my ballot, like you said, I chose Power of the Dog. Because in the back of my head, I was thinking there's no way this is going to lose. But again, Coda was still spectacular. It still deserved to win. Like I said, I love Belfast, but there's no upset in my book. There's no snub. It yeah, no. And as soon as this Coda won screenplay, I leaned over to my dad and I was like, Coda's going to win Best Picture. I yeah, absolutely. Like, there's no way. Now, like, that was the award that I was waiting to, like, see. Oh, God, if they lose this, then they're not going to win Best Picture. But it did pull out the Best Picture, and I was super excited. Greg Frazier won cinematography. Yes. And all in all, this was a great Oscar. Dune, one of my favorite movies of the year, took home the most Oscars of the night. Me too. And Ariana Du Bois winning for Best Supporting Actress in West Side Story was probably one of my favorite moments of the whole night because I was super excited for her because on betting, she was the underdog. Oh, Until yeah. this week, she jumped up to the favorite. And I was like, good for her. I was super excited for her. And her speech was great. Phenomenal. And the original actress from the original West Side Story was there. And she had thanked her. And it was just a really heartfelt speech that I really enjoyed. Yeah. It was one of those speeches where instead of like just kind of sitting through it and it being more scripted, I feel like there was a lot of emotion in it. And you could see that, hey, she's really excited. She just won an Oscar. Yeah, and she did. It looked like she had no idea if she was going to win. Yeah, she, she probably thought she was there, like, oh, I have to be here. And then she won the Oscar, and it was, wow, it probably just made her life, made her night. You know, and then before we get going, those are the three awards we are going to be talking about on this episode. But moving on from that, did you have a favorite part of the Oscars? Did you enjoy it in total? Did you like the host? In total, I definitely enjoyed it. Like you said, it was definitely one of the better Oscars in past years. Hosting, generally very solid. There were a few lulls, but with a show this long and this important, how could there not be? How about you? What did you think about the hosting and all the so, directions it went? Going into the Oscars, I was a little nervous to have three hosts. Having three hosts is a really hard thing to do, especially with the monologues and all that. And having to balance each of them. Yeah. I thought they did a really great job having them each do their monologue throughout. Yeah. I love Wanda Sykes. I think she's hilarious. And I thought she had the best monologue going to the museum saying, oh, I donated $15. I thought she was so funny the entire time. But I really did think it was a great Oscars. And sadly, there is some controversy surrounding it, taking away from some incredible moments that happened throughout the night. I totally agree. To be fair, this is going to be good for the Oscar viewership, which has been shaky to say in the past few years. But it is very disappointing that Will Smith's uh, award is going to get kind of tarnished, like you said, and how this is going to be the big focal point for looking back at this Oscar, Oscar ceremony over the next few years. So I think this very good Oscars ceremony is not getting the credit it deserves. You know, I thought the producer did a great job. I thought everyone that had a part in this did a great job. And I was all in all really happy with it. And it does kind of stink that there's now kind of like a weird taste in your mouth looking back on these Oscars. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's the worst. But there's going to be another one next year. Yep. And the year after that. Amen. Well, Sean, I just wanted to thank you for coming on. I had a really great time talking to you. Thank you for having me. I had a great time too. I love being here. Yeah. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you to everyone that helps out with the show, the producers, the executive producers, editors. Thank you to Professor Boyd and everyone else. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. And we're out. You've been listening to Study Break, brought to you by the New Media Lab and Campus Live. Today's host and producer was Tommy Cresta. His guest was Sean Molesky. Our co-executive producer for this episode was Kate Escalante. Victoria Colbert and Samuel Larson designed our cover art. Indigo Fraser composed our theme music. Raven Amaro prepared our title cards. And I am Megan Grant, your announcer for this episode. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please be sure to follow us on Instagram at bccc underscore new media lab. Thanks for listening.